where, where daytime radio on 98 came about and we yeah. had a great uh, seven years with uh, 98. It's very unfortunate that literally it is the effects of the, the COVID pandemic that um, led 98 to cost cutting and ultimately uh, taking our show yeah, off. I hear, I've heard you talk about that, Adrian, and it was a question I have written down here to ask you. Is, is Could you delve into that a little bit more for, for us lay people who don't know how the radio works and advertising and stuff like that? <laughs> what exactly do you mean when you say that? Um, well, radio depends on advertising income. And I remember during one particular show last year during the first lockdown, having no ads, well, very few ads. Uh, an ad from the Department of the Taoiseach was the only ad in the ad breaks on, on our show. Wow. And that scared the living daylights out of me because realistically, uh, a, a bar can't operate if people don't buy pints. A radio station can't operate if people don't buy adverts. And uh, the radio business has been really badly and hard, hard hit by uh, the pandemic in the last year. And unfortunately, uh, talk radio costs money. And we were sadly the fall guys for uh, cost cutting. Uh, and by the way, we, we won't be the last in the radio business uh, to face the, the chop. I do worry about the radio business uh, going forward. We have a very... People are very loyal to radio here in Ireland, but um, you can't make a business survive with no income. And that, yeah. so ultimately, we, we, we took the fall. There have been many redundancies in the radio business in the last year. Not many on-air people. We just happened to be people that were on-air that when cuts had to be made, somebody somewhere said, those dads will have to go. Um, it's just a fact of life. I've... Um, I was never made redundant in my life. So it's a new life experience for me. But I'm actually really excited about where we're at now. Um, you know, two this months is, This is where Adrian's coming to it. This is why he wanted to do this. Adrian wants you, Jamie, to set up a GoFundMe page to fund the holidays. <laughs> uh, if that's possible. We can we can we, talk about that after this. this can you put that in the description of the video? Yeah, <laughs> GoFundMe links, please. Thanks. Okay, well, the one thing that we haven't done, Jamie, since uh, we finished our show with 98 at the end of April is we haven't disappeared. We haven't yeah. gone away. Our Facebook page is one of the biggest media Facebook pages in Dublin. We have 115,000 followers on our page and we've kept that page active since the last day we uh, were on 98. And that is leading us to our next project, which is only a couple of weeks away, where we're basically... Secret project, secret project. Where we're basically reinventing ourselves. Um, and that's what we're, you're going to see from us. And when I say reinventing ourselves, we're still going to be Adrian and Jeremy. We're still going to do what we've always done. Uh, but we're going to do it in a very uh, different way. I'm sorry, there's the ambulance. No, you're okay, you're okay. These things happen. Uh, we're going to do what we do in a different way. Um, yeah. So you will watch this space over the next couple of weeks. Well, I can tell by the two of you that you are excited, even by looking at your videos that you're putting up since um, since the, the show was ended on 98FM. You, you haven't rolled over and died, you know what I mean? You are putting the content up, and, and I can't wait personally for the change myself to see what you've come up with. Like, I'm excited about it as well, and I know by looking at the buzz around the Facebook page that uh, there's plenty of other people excited about it as well. And and I won't, I won't keep harping on about it, but... Look, he's a very professional and he's, I'd expect nothing less from you. Um, but w w did you see this coming or w were you a bit sad when it happened? Like, I know he's are all, he's are upbeat now and he's are ready for a new thing. But did you actually see this happening like a couple of months ago? I know you said you heard about it uh, a month or two ago, but were you surprised when you did hear it? Yeah, well, I mean, it's not the answer for me. I nearly fell off the chair when we were, when we were told. Did we see this coming? Uh, like I said, in a, in, a, in, a radio, in the radio business, Talk costs money. Um, it's more expensive than having a DJ in the studio just playing records. That's just a, a, a fact of life. Yeah. So do you see it coming? Uh, no. But does it surprise us? No. Is the best way I can answer I'm that. A, I'm a firm believer. Uh, I'm a firm believer, Jamie, in things happening for a reason. Uh, I've always been a believer in that, that things happen uh, for a reason. And, you, you know, we weren't, we weren't entirely happy um uh, doing the show uh, at the time there were there were things we had issues with and you know sometimes i think you need something like that to give you a kick in the arse because mm -hmm. you can you can fall into a comfort zone in, in 104 when we did the nighttime show we 
over that 17 year period, we had many, many offers to go other places uh, during that 17 year period. And we always turned them down and we didn't even, we didn't even meet people to even discuss it with them because we were in that comfort zone yeah. uh, of, oh no, we have a job here. Let's not try anything uh, different. My attitude now is completely, uh, is completely different. I mean, we left a steady job in 104 doing nights to go to 98 FM. And now we're gone from 98 FM. And I, I don't, you know, I'm not worried. I'm not yeah. worried. <laughs> the biggest thing when when it happened was I was terrified. Typical Irish son, I was terrified of telling my mother the news. I was like, how do I break this news to my mother? Um, and I remember I brought her out for a walk and I, I said to her, I just let you know, um, we weren't sacked, by the way. We weren't sacked. The show was made redundant. And she turned around straight away and she said, no, nah, that's fine. You, you, you be, the two of you will be grand. Are you sticking together? That's what you are. You're sticking together. I says, unfortunately, I am. I'm stuck with them. Um, it's like having a long-suffering wife. Um, and I said, yeah, we are sticking together. And she says, you'll be grand. The two of you have enough contacts. You have enough know-how. You know what you're doing. Uh, you'll be grand. I'm not going to worry about you. And I was like, thanks, Ma. Once you're not worried, there's nothing to worry about. And the same with my wife. When I told her, I was dreading telling her. And she was like, you know, you're, you're not Egypt. You know what I mean? You'll, you'll make yeah. this work. So uh, we have every confidence. Well, it would be, you know, for, for all the years he's doing the show on FM 104 and then 98 FM, it would be a, a, a major thing to happen, you know, and I can understand a bit of nervous creeping in when it did happen. But I know for a fact he's used to are never going to use it. He's never going to uh, roll over that easy. And I, I can't wait to see what he's going to come up with. 